Amid the unprecedented events now affecting the world, Far East Broadcasting Company continues its legacy of proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ through the airwaves. The story of FEBC began back in the early 1940s when God planted in the hearts of three men a vision of broadcasting Christ to the world, particularly to the people of Asia. While their mission work in China was uh, quickly shut down as communism took over, the Lord led them to the Philippines, which they found as a more ideal location to broadcast to China and even parts of Southeast Asia. Now here in the Philippines, FEBC established the operations and built the first local station, 680KZAS, the Airwaves of Salvation, known today as 702DZAS, Agapay ng Sambayanan. By God's grace, FEBC Philippines grew into a network of 12 radio stations spread across the archipelago. In addition, there are two transmitting stations in Bukawi, Bulacan, and Iba Sambales for shortwave broadcast to Southeast Asia. We have a corollary ministry, the Portable Missionary Radio, or the PM Radio. This evolved from handmade wooden box radios to battery and solar-powered radios received by different people groups and communities not yet reached by the church and their missionaries. And with the rapid development of the Internet, our broadcasts are given a visual element which can now be accessed on demand through social media and online streaming applications like our website, febc.ph, or Spotify, or our very own app, FEBCPHStream, and the Papuri mobile app for music launched last year. All these together allow FEBC Philippines to be faithful to fulfill our mission of communicating Christ in our world by all means available, on air, online, and with the underground ministries to help spread the good news and also to reach vulnerable people groups, especially in times of crisis, such as the COVID-19 pandemic we are now experiencing. Napakaganda po ng topic. God gave me an uncommon favor this pandemic. Mas nararamdaman ko po ang deepest peace of mind. Literal, psychological, and emotional. God bless po, listening while working here in Taiwan. Thank you po that in times of confusion and loneliness, your program is helping me the whole day, reminding me of the faithfulness and goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat po sa webinar ngayon and I learned so much. Thank you also for the inspiration you always give to us teachers to battle this new challenge we are having. We thank God for the opportunity to touch the lives of countless listeners represented by the feedback you just heard. It is indeed a privilege that even in this difficult time we are in right now, the ministry of FEBC continues. As a non-profit, non-commercial broadcast network, this has been possible through individuals and organizations like you who share our mission and support the ministry through prayers and practical ways. We thank you and praise God for your ongoing partnership with us. Ikaw ay Dios, or You Are God, is not only the theme of our 72nd anniversary celebration this year, but a declaration of our faith in our Lord, who has caused people to surrender their lives to Him in response to the programs they hear over the radio and over the Internet. And no matter what season, even amidst economic recession, or disasters, or quarantines, or repressive governments and religious persecution, the broadcasts have continued. All these 72 years just goes to show that we truly serve and love a great God. As we face new challenges ahead, all the more that we put our trust in Him as He continues to use FEBC to draw people to Himself and be saved. Just as the prophet declared in Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19, Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vine, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength, He makes my feet like the deer's, he makes me tread on my high 
places.